Welcome to the channel everybody. Let's take a look at the peppers in the great pepper experiment and see how things are going. All right, so let's take a look at the peppers. You can see uh, they're growing pretty well since the, the last video I did. If you didn't catch the first video that talks about all the different varieties and how I set these up and what I'm comparing, you might want to check that one out. I'll put a card up here and I'll put a link down in the description. But um, <clears throat> I had a few uh, leaves showing some, something's been nibbling on them a little bit, but I haven't seen anything that's going to alarm me to freak out and uh, you know, do something drastic. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. And uh, But if you look at this, like for instance, here are the jalapenos here. Uh, this one up front um, is one plant that was topped. So my, my tomato plant's kind of hanging in here, but um, let's see if I can get that out of the way. Uh, but it's got, you know, nice new growth on the top. And uh, I'm probably going to trim off some of this stuff at the bottom. But uh, the one behind it is a jalapeno as well. It's got two plants in there. And it, they were both topped. So I'm comparing those two growth, uh, growth growing situations. And it looks very similar. Uh, it's got new growth. It looks like some of the leaves are smaller. Which might be due to the the fertilizing since they're both getting the same fertilizer you know but uh, again it's got good growth on it here i got uh flaming jade and so this one was topped this is a single plant that was topped and again showing good growth nice fresh green tops on them and this is a single plant or actually two two plants back here flaming jay but they were not topped so they're a little bit taller if you look at them and uh but again they're showing some good good growth on top and a few little buds starting to form um so if i look at the one that has the most difference here uh it's probably this one the big daddy pepper this one a single plant that was not topped you can see how tall it is and it's getting little buds on it it's beginning to flower it's got quite a few as a matter of fact and the one behind it is a single plant that was topped and you can see it's considerably shorter and I do see a couple of buds in there um, I look around but not near as many as I see on on the one that wasn't topped these uh, next to it are Costa Rican peppers and let's see this one is one plant that was topped so you can see it's getting pretty bushy again I think I'm gonna come in here and, and clean out some of these uh, bottom leaves and this guy is topped as well so it's about the same they're both top they should be about the same this one seems to be a little bushier for whatever reason uh, next to it I got uh, sweet sunset this one was topped and I do see a few few buds forming in here and the one behind it was not topped you can see it's you know a good uh, I don't know four or five inches taller but it's bushing out as well so um, it's kind of funny how different varieties will grow differently when they're topped or not topped so that's why this uh, experiment is being done part of the reason anyway uh, Jimmy Nardellos are growing they have a lot of little 
buds on them. They're getting ready to put on some peppers. So I'm looking forward to that. I've never grown Jimmy Nardellos. These both were topped. And uh, let's see, I think these behind it were not topped. So you can see they're a little taller. But uh, putting on their own bushiness. And they're starting to get some buds on them even down low. In fact, there's some flowers over here already open on here. There's a couple of flowers in the back here on this one. But what I noticed about the Jimmy Nardello is this one has two plants in it and one is taking up more nutrient than the other one and growing faster, which can be expected when you have two plants in one pot. And this is the giant Uncagua. And these have not been topped. There's two plants in here. And, uh, you know, they're looking pretty good. I'm interested to see if these peppers develop to see how big they are. They're supposed to be pretty, pretty good sized sweet pepper. It, again, there's some buds in there that uh, I can see some flowers. And the one behind it was topped. And uh, it's a little quite a bit smaller um, so this is going to be an interesting experiment again if you didn't catch all the different varieties and comparisons that I'm doing check out uh, the first video on this series and you'll get all that information but I was just going to do an update here to show that uh, they've grown quite a bit since the first video and coming along nicely I won't be long probably uh, probably two weeks two to three weeks we'll start harvesting maybe sooner and once I do that I'll be weighing all the, the peppers that I get off of each plant measuring them and then uh, weighing each pepper individually too and at the end we'll have some good data to do some comparisons about growth habits topping not topping two plants in one container versus one plant in a container etc etc so anyway just thought i'd give you an update so thanks for watching please subscribe hit the notification bell like give me a comment below what you think about the experiment and i will catch you on the next video take care